Hello, hola, bienvenidos. As you guys can see from the title, today we are doing our Dega Panning Project Pan update. So I have my products here, you guys. I have some exciting news. I really picked it up. Um, as you guys are seeing this video, I am returning from our vacation because we took a week long vacation away. So this is why the lack of videos and posts and things are, but I am very excited because I was able to pick it up a little bit to be able to kind of show you guys some progress. So if you're interested, stay tuned. But first, if you're new, hello, Alejandra. I go by Alex, eyeshadow enthusiast with an ash brush pan. If that is something you want to continue to see on your feed, subscribe and join us. And now let's get on with this update. Now, as usual, you guys know, everything you need to know about this project pan will be down in the description box. Every little detail you need to know. So I have my, uh, what is it, five, pro no, maybe five, one, two, three, four, five, yes, five products. So let's go ahead and get started on the first prompt. And that was a, a black queen that represented another project pan. I did the lip service project pan. I believe that's what it's called. I finally got it <laughs> after. I have this. So I rolled in this. This is the Chantecaille uh, Beach Tint in uh, Beach Rose. Beautiful product. Loved it. So I will show you guys where I was. I did take a photo of where I was. And as you guys can see, I completely finished this off. I am not digging in here. You guys know I have plenty, plenty of lip products. And you guys see, I used up the whole entire thing. This was a beautiful product. This was not a chore. I loved every second of it. I kind of missed it after I used it up because it made my lips feel moisturized, not dry after it wore off. And it was beautiful. I just threw it on with whatever eye look I was doing, especially in the month of July where it was way too hot to wear any lip products, even bold lip products. So this was perfect. I finished a whole lip product in one year without using it on my cheeks. Who am I? I don't even know, but this is getting rolled out because I have met my goal. Then we have the two of spades, which was an A through Z shade. And the shade that came up was the letter E. And I had rolled in a shadow in here called Euphoria from the BH Cosmetics Festival Palette Weekend Festival Palette. I showed you guys an update last month where I was. I had a nice dip in there. It was very decent. I was actually proud of myself. And as you guys can see now, I have met my goal and I have hit pan. It is a very nice pan too. I'm very, very surprised at how much I was able to use this. This was a shadow that I layered with a lot of other shadows. It was a base or a mixing shadow. I am not a fan so much of these kind of yellow gold, but it worked out perfectly fine because it rolled in in the summer. So I was able to finagle and layer it and manipulate it so I can get use out of it. This took a long time. I mean, this was dedication two months worth of it being in here and constantly incorporated in any look that I did. But I was able to hit pan on it and I'm very proud of myself. So this is also getting rolled out. All right, so the next three prompts are the new ones that I've had. Uh, the three of hearts was a spray product. For that, I rolled in the Bumble and Bumble Surf Spray Sea Salt. You guys, I was able to finish this off. There is a little bit in here, but it's not coming out. I was on the fence about this product. It did make my hair look like a beachy hair, but I have lived near the beach, near the ocean my whole entire life. So I know what a beachy wave is. Cause when I go to the beach and I go in that water and my hair dries out, it gives me a beautiful beachy wave. Like the ocean does a very good job of giving me a beachy wave. This one, I don't know. I kind of felt like it was a stretch. Kind of looked like it was like, I'm there, but I'm not there. I'm trying to give you a beach wave, but I'm not trying to give you a beach wave. I don't know. I wasn't really liking this product to be honest with you, but I did finish it off and I was able to use it. So that's that. This is also getting rolled out. I rolled in and next was a Black King, the newest product. And for that, it was this palette right over here. This is the Nabla Reed My Mind palette. And my goal was to use each shadow one time, you guys. And I was able to do that. Oh my goodness, you guys. <sighs> no surprise that this is such great quality. No surprise that this, some shades were wow. Um, I was like, wow. These two shadows here, absolutely adored. This one is a multi-chrome. This is like a pink on here, but it has 
gold and green shift to it. It is so pretty. I don't think the camera can kind of give you an indication of what it is. So beautiful on the eyes. Holy crap, I loved it. These mattes, a beautiful mat. This one was really, really pretty sheer, but you can build that up. These were nice and, inten and like intense on your eyes, but they can be sheared out. No complaints at all. Every look that I did was beautiful. Every look that I um, incorporated, and you guys know I bounced around. I did not stay in rows. I did not stay in quads. I did not stay in duos. I bounced around everywhere, and I was able to use every single shade in here. This color, I really, really loved. You guys, I am so happy I, I got this for my birthday. Very, very beautiful. Quality is amazing. Really surprised me because I was not expecting those shimmery shades on the lids to be so amazing. I really, really like it. If you're looking for a palette that has some sort of color or pizzazz, but you don't want a ton of it, this is a good one. Good one. And it's an everyday one where you get those little bits where it's not super in your face. Loved it. So I did use every single shade. This is also rolling out. Last but not least was the Joker, which will be in here for quite a few months. I rolled in Frosé by Tarte. My goal was to hit the use this 35 times. I've only used it four times, one of them being in the center of my eye look today. Today I am using quite a bit of different shadows on my eyes. It's not just one shade, it's a bunch of them. And this I tend to, you guys, I put this all over my lid and then I used a purple shadow on the edges <gasps> and then orange on the crease. Such a beautiful color because this shifted more pinky, but then gold in the center because of the way my eyes curve. So you can see the yellow and then it turned into pink and then purple. Oh, so, so pretty. So I've only used it four times though, you guys. And most of the time it has been on the lid. It hasn't been like an eyeliner, lower lash shine. It has been on the lid like today. I put it on the center of my lid. I still have 31 uses before I can roll this out. So this is also staying in. All right, you guys, I have my cards here and I have just pulled up the uh, chart. I'm not gonna say what I want and what I don't want because the last time I did that, I screwed myself over. Go figure. And no, I did not go play the lottery because I know I'd lose anyway. <laughs> That's the nature of the game. So, one more shuffle. And, oh my goodness, I don't know what's wrong with me today. I think it's just so early in the morning that I, I can't even hold the cards the right way. All right. So here we go. Oop, I'm trying to slide this thing over, okay. So we have to roll in four cards, four cards, you guys. Here we go. The six of clubs. It is largest category. We all know what that is, right? Yes, we do, yes, we do. All right, next up. Five of hearts, five of hearts. Double-ended or a duo. Hmm, all right, up next. Six of diamond, already has pan, woo! I like that one. And last one, it is the black jack. Random color generator, ah! Okay, so let's do the random color generator now. I am liking this, okay. Random color, and I gotta spell random. I gotta spell color with it, U, O-U-R, generator. All right, once I hit it, it will do it. So I'm just going to share with you guys, you ready? <gasps> Ooh, that's a pretty color, ooh. That is like lime green, lime green. I'll put it up on the screen. Oh, okay, I like that. Okay, you guys, you know that that lime green will probably be an eyeshadow unless I have something that's packaging of that. Let me go grab these four products and I shall return. All right, you guys, so to make this fun, I cannot decide for myself what eyeshadow palette I should pull in because eyeshadow is my largest category, like any eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna randomize and then you guys will see which one because I can't.
Zoeva Cocoa Blend. All right, so let me pull that out and then I'll share with you guys the rest of the, of the products that I pulled in. All right, you guys, so <laughs> let's start out that because I that, that one with the largest category, you guys know it's eyeshadow. I just could not decide. I kept going back and forth of what I wanted to do. So for the first prompt was the Six of Club, which was the largest category. As you guys know, if you follow me for any length of time, it is eyeshadow. It will always be eyeshadow. It has always been eyeshadow. So you saw randomly that I chose the Zoeva Cocoa Blend. This is an eyeshadow palette that I have never used, but it is perfect because I actually do like this and I think it'll be fun for this time of year. Again, I said this in a different video. I can't remember what video, but I keep getting neutrals. <laughs> I'm always rolling in neutral shades. At least the whole entire summer I have been, so I'm okay with it. I think my goal is to use every shadow one time, at least one time in the, so the whole palette can be used. That's my goal for this one and then I can roll it out. The next prompt that we got was the five of hearts, which was double ended or a duo. Okay, so I don't have many things that are double ended. I think I have one thing that's double ended and I did not care to use that. So I had to find something that was a duo that was an eyeshadow. So I'm bringing this in. This is my NARS uh, Dual Intensity Blush in Frenzy. So this is what it looks like. It brings a highlighter and a blush, and this is perfect, again, for this time of year because it is an orangey base, and this is such a beautiful formula. I have already used this many, many times, so I already know how the formula is, and I think it will be really, really beautiful for this time of year. So my goal is to use this 10 times. It doesn't matter which side, I gotta use it 10 times. All righty, the next one was the Six of Diamonds. Six of Diamonds was something that already has pan. This is something that ha I had pan on it over a year ago and I never brought it into any other project pan, so I think this is the time to bring it in. This is my Quo Mega Highlight Duo. This is also another duo. And you guys can see that both sides have pan in them. My goal is just to expand the pan a little bit more so it could be a little bit more vis visible. I, I, I don't know how to measure that because it's visible but not too visible. Like there's a white side and then there is a cool, like a yellowy side. If I mix both of them is what I have always done because one's too light, one's too yellowy like that's what it would look like mixed i don't know if you guys can see the difference in that but i think i just want to expand the pan on both ends just to show the pan a little bit and it's a little waffle pan in the bottom so i just want it to sh be a little bit more visible that's my goal on this one so i guess that's according to what i consider to be visible but i will take a picture of it so that way i can see with the next update if it does pass the test of being more visible. And last but not least was the random color generator, you guys. And I got a nice, beautiful lime green. Oh, my favorite color green. Okay, you guys, I had the perfect product. As soon as I saw the color, I knew exactly what I wanted. And the thing is, I was this close to decluttering this while I did that major declutter. But the reason why I did not was because it was so unique. You saw how limey green this is, so I kept it because this is the only shade I have of anything in that. Look at it, it is perfect. And I was gonna declutter and I said, no, you know what? I, I really would wanna keep it. This is a Beach Cosmetics pigment. This is, I mean, I'm talking years ago when they had pigments out. This is the color Bounce. And I have used it, so it's not like I have not used it. You can see it right there. It is exactly what I think the color that came out is. Look at that. Whoo! My goal is to use this 10 times. 10 times in any way, shape, or form. I have been getting so many neutrals of everything, I had to bring in this. This, because this is the only time of year I'm gonna use it, so why not get use out of it? And it is very unique, and I haven't been able to find this shade again. I have to find an indie brand to, to locate this kind of color, but it's very unique to my collection. So I wanna use that one 10 times. All right, you guys. So what do we think? Um, I don't think I will be rolling out the Frosé anytime soon, so that's still gonna hang around. I think I will meet my goal on this palette, possibly this one, and this one if I really, really couldn't, put it in every look for at least 10 looks of it. This one, I don't know, we gotta see, we gotta see, cause I do have a highlighter in here. I don't know, we gotta play around with it. This 
round was actually really nice. I really liked it. I got prompts that I haven't really gotten before. So is nice. Except for the color generator I have, but anything else I haven't gotten. So I'm very excited, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. We avoided the Joker yet again. I know you guys gave me the probability of me getting the Joker. Let's hope that I'm done with the Joker for at least another year or so. <laughs> so anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. More videos on the screen for your enjoyment. Until then, adios.